Investors are eyeing the oil trade after President Barack Obama addressed the nation last night about Syria. And here to talk about it today with me is Cindy Wexler. Cindy, thanks so much for being here. What are, you, what are you guys seeing on the floor? What are you expecting out of the oil trade in the next few weeks with the Syria in the backdrop? I think that we're going to see a lot of uncertainty in the market and a lot of volatility. The president's speech certainly postponed uh, an imminent strike for the immediate time being, but I think that it left a lot of uh, uncertainty about when or if it may happen, and that is going to cause the market to chop around. So you just see choppy. I mean, is there is there anything that could really move this market one way or the other? Maybe like an actual decision that we hear about? An actual decision obviously would make a, a difference in the market. Um, I think that the president did not really specify exactly how we were going to find out if these if the chemical weapons were there and you know what the next step was going to be to verify them so I think there's going to this is going to play out over the next couple of weeks. So in a sense the president's address in terms of the oil market probably didn't really give much direction either way. Correct. And Correct. so so are you looking ahead now to to Fed Federal Reserve minutes? Yes that's another issue that has been driving the crude market and it's also an issue of uncertainty which is also going to lead to continued volatility in this market. The traders were waiting to see if the Fed would begin tapering and that would certainly affect crude prices but we don't have any answer from that yet either. If we see something come out of the Fed, certainly we will have a more clear-cut direction in the, in the crude market. All right, Cindy. Well, we'll keep an eye on Syria, as everybody else is, and definitely we'll keep an eye on the tapering. Thanks so much. Okay. My pleasure. You heard it from Cindy Wexler. Keep an eye on this market right now. It looks like it's going to chop up and down for quite some time. For The Street at the NYMEX, I'm Joe Doe.